today, hi, Simon from Bonfire Vans here. Um, today I'm going to install uh, one of our Slypod kitchen units. Um, get a lot of questions about it, so I figured it's the easiest thing to do is just to sort of show you a quick install. Okay, first of all, we're going to take these rings out from here. This first one over there, here, and here. These are the four points where the uh, pod fits into. Right, so what we're going to use to unscrew those lashing points is this. Um, do you see that? A little star Allen key type thing. Gonna do that um, on all four in four points. Okay, so we've removed all four screws. Okay. Gonna pop them away. Right, so here is the outside part of the pod um, that we're gonna put in first. As you see here, got a hole here. Here and the this those points are gonna fit here to here. That's how it's gonna fix in the first fixing point of the pod. First of all, we've got to put these discs that are supplied um, with the pods, uh, fit those into your um, flashing points. So the hole is going to be going in there. This what fits into the into the car. This the pod um, screws through through the pod um, into this disc. And there's one of those on um, on both sides, like like so. And we get um, this comes supplied as all supplied with the pod, by the way. I've got my Allen key. Found it. Like that. Okay, same for the other side. So now we're going to lift the outside shell into the van. Okay, now all you've got to do once you've got the uh, shell in is line the holes up with the, the holes in the shell with the uh, holes in the disc. So it needs a bit of a jiggle around. Keep it uh, perfect. I'm gonna screw those in now. So the screw now goes like that, and you just do the same the other side. Okay, the next part of the fitting process is fitting the steel beams. Um, got the holes here, here, this will bolt into the floor, into the lashing point, and then you've got a hole up here, and this bolts directly into the, uh, into the shell, uh, at the top. Give you a little view into the back here, now, kind of see where these are going to go. That's going to bolt there, and then Top of the beam is going to bolt under here 
connection to that point. It's just that hole there. And the same on the other side. I'm going to be using these now to do the next stage of the, uh, of the fitting. in there, through there, pan back a little bit and that foot's going to fit in there. Hi, right okay so um, we've got the the shell in um, and the legs and um, it's really probably taken me about, I don't know, 30 minutes. Obviously I'm filming this film, so it's taken me a bit longer, but I'll just give you a quick uh, run around what we've done so far. So there we go. Lip taking the lashing points off from each corner and fit these bolts in. All of these bolts are supplied with the pod. Uh, you just need the uh, tools, just a couple of Allen keys. Okay, if we go inside, you can see you've got the steel supports which are screwed in here and here using the again the uh, original fixing points so no damage whatsoever to your vehicle or the uh, interior okay okay so next we're going to fit the actual uh, kitchen pod so I've turned it on its side here so that you can see the fixing points <laughs> that hold it in place they're just guides really um, so they're on the front and these are the guides at the back if we come round to the car you can see that in the show you've got these runners and the pod sits on these so it's just a case of getting the um, the kitchen pod onto these runners and clipping to these points so I'm going to do that now now I just thought I'd show you a little trick although I strongly strongly recommend that you um, fit this and do the lifting part of this with another person what I do is I just wedge a couple of boxes next to the runners so that they stay out. So when I lift the um, uh, centerpiece onto the runners, uh, they're out and they're sitting outside. Now it's very important to lift it onto the pod as uh, square as possible. Okay, so I've lifted the um, pod onto the runners. So it's now just resting on the runners underneath, look underneath, here. You can see they're not connected to here yet, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, I'm now going to um, pull the bars fully out and uh, connect them right to the front here. So you can see this little, just lifts this out like that, just sits on there. Lovely, those two clip in there. All right, well that worked well, so now I'm just gonna do the other side. Pushing up, just a little bit, slide that in. Bob's your uncle. Ooh, it's going in now. see these bits at the back simply just clipping in just to hold it in place I think we've got to slide out yeah that's 
on that side and that side. Still going, so um, if you want, you can just plug the, uh, this is here's your power cord. You can plug that into the um, 12 volt socket situated just underneath the rear seat. Um, or you can actually run it very easily. If you get another cable, you could actually just run the cable straight underneath here into your leisure battery that you can fit under the uh, driver's seat. That's what we do anyway. But if you're keeping it simple, you can simply plug it in here and this powers the lights and the water pump for the sink. Now it's just fitted, I um, just thought I'd quickly show you um, how the bed section works. So you just push the back seat back down, like so. And then we've got this little flat here, whoopsie, that folds down and fills the gap. And then you put the mattress on top of that and you've got a massive double bed. All of the um, nuts and bolts are all supplied with the pod. The only things you're going to need to fit this um, are these two Allen keys and this uh, star key to undo the lashing points uh, in the van. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's that fitted. So let's have a quick look at it. Excuse me, pop these out. There you go. Fitted. <laughs>